Welcome back, Sethling here. And you're all in big trouble. Recently I've been chatting with Vex. If you don't know who Vex is, he is the creator of the Super Hostile map series, which are some very difficult uh, survival maps. And uh, basically, I've been taking requests from Vex for MC Edit filters that he would like to use in his creations. So. In this series, I'll be showing you what the filters are that I'm writing and providing to him, and you can also download the filters for yourself. Uh, so there are going to be three filters in this video. One is this mortar filter, which allows you to create spawners that will lob entities at a particular point. Uh, there's also a chests, uh, chest, or two chest filters, and one of them makes chests symmetric, so. You take the contents like this and turn them into something like this. And the other one will let you add items to chests from MCEdit and let you customize those items a little bit. So let me describe these three filters. Uh, the first filter I want to cover is this mortar one. Mortars is the filter. Uh, basically the way it works is you use lime green wool and red wool. And the lime green wools represent the spots where the spawners are going to be and the red wool represents the target. So each of these spots where there is a spawner, there previously was a lime wool, and then the top of this, there was previously, let me grab a red wool here, there was previously a red wool up here, right there. And you can see all the spawners are aiming right at that. And uh, so basically you just place these lime and red wools and then run the filter and uh, you can select different projectiles. For instance, there's splash potions, snowballs, arrows, TNT, and pick whichever one you want. You can customize them a little bit, and it will create a spawner that that will that spawns these entities at whatever rate you set. And the trajectory of those entities as they leave the spawner will be at their red target. And you can you can move the spawners once you have created them. Uh, because they're set to spawn the entity in a particular position with a particular velocity. So even if I moved this spawner over here, it would still spawn the entities right here, shooting still at that target. Uh, pretty cool. At the end of this video, I'll show you uh, an application of that. Vex threw together a little obstacle course. Uh, but let me first show you the other two filters. Uh, well, I'm gonna for this for the other for the third one, I'm gonna have to show you that in MC Edit, but. Uh, let me show you the Symmetrify filter. So that takes the contents of a chest here. Basically what I did is I took this row of chests, copied and pasted them over here, and then ran the filter on these five chests. So you take a look at this, and you see a bunch of contents. And you look over here, and basically the contents are made into a symmetric pattern that looks kind of pleasing. You will notice that the ender pearls are all symmetric, the potions are all symmetric, the arrows are all symmetric, and then the odd items out are also symmetric, and you'll notice that even though the ender pearls weren't in order or whatever, it still did that, and that's one of the properties of the filter. So here's another chest. You got five bowls of stew, uh, three different kinds of planks, two cobblestone. So when you look at the symmetric uh, version, you can see the cobblestone is symmetric. Basically, everything is symmetric here. Uh, the three planks. I'll just show you a couple more examples. This one has four full sets of armor and four bows and arrows. Now it's not perfect. This one isn't uh, isn't quite perfect here. Uh, the leather here doesn't match the the tunics over here, and um, but it it tries to do as as good of a job as it can. Uh, it can't always do it perfectly, just because uh, just because the it's it's not necessarily easy to do it in every case. Here's just another example of uh, you know five items. Uh, over here, I dumped my inventory. <laughs> I had a bunch of random items in my inventory, and I just dumped them into a chest. And you'll see over here. Uh, it actually looks quite nice when you put it all together. You have the the swords, they're symmetric. So basically just uh, everything looks very nice. As nice as I could make it anyway, once you run the filter. Uh, for the last filter, I'm gonna have to show you that in MC Edit. So let's head over there. All right, here we are in MC Edit. Uh, the last filter is one that will add items to chests. So this one had five items in it. If I go over to filters, and head down to add item to container. The filter is called add item. Uh, you can you can basically specify a lot of different stuff. 
there's there's these three things at the top here. There's weapons and armor. There's consumables and tools. So and then you can also put a custom ID. So basically, this is this helps you pick your ID in case you don't have all the item IDs uh, memorized. So if you want, say, um, uh, let's say an enchanted book, you would select this. Uh, if you select something from one of these three menus at the top, it'll overwrite the custom ID here. And so this doesn't actually matter what we put here. The damage value and counts uh, are pretty obvious. Damage value is stuff like how much a tool has been used or for wool, what color it is. And then count is how many items in the stack. If you put, uh, if you leave the name field empty or put a dash, then it won't put a custom name in there, but you can put in custom name, custom color and whatever lore same thing uh, there's room for up to three enchantments uh, these enchantments are enchantments that get applied to the item but for an enchanted book you actually need a book enchantment so we can pick a we can pick a enchantment to add to the book you can give it punch five or something if I hit filter it'll create it there uh, one nice feature about this is if you create if you select a one by one by one space and hit the uh, and uh, and ran, run the filter with, with you know some options, it'll actually create a chest for you. And the goal here is basically that you don't have to constantly switch back and forth between MC Edit and Minecraft in order to add items to chests. So this was requested by Vex just because he likes to be able to stay in MC Edit for a while if he's you know using it. Here we can see all the uh, <laughs> all the potion entities, splash potion entities, and uh, yeah, so it's very simple. There, there aren't really options to the. Uh, I can show you the uh, the symmetrify filter uh, right here. There's no options to that. Let me just select the mortars filter over here. Uh, there are some options here. Um, a lot of them are, are pretty obvious. Uh, what kind of projectile you want? Uh, what kind of potion it should be? If it's a potion, what the TNT fuse is. Now uh, there is a max height gain and a. Uh, so what max max height gain does is, is it says how high you want the potions to fly. Uh, so that's why a lot of these potions are, or whatever projectile it is, that's why a lot of these projectiles are peaking out at the same height. And so you can kind of control how much of an arc there is. And then if you check this random max height gain button over here, um, that will create a random max height gain between one and the number that you put in above that. And uh, yeah, the rest of it's, I think, pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, so the last thing I want to do is show you the obstacle course that Vex put together. So let's head over to that world. All right, here's the obstacle course. <laughs> he had a lot of fun with this. Uh, he actually only took about an hour to put this together. And you've got like arrows flying around. If you look off in the distance, you can see some potions, splash potions that are being tossed way up in the air. Uh, there's just a little spawn area with a bed and some command blocks and stuff. There's there's some signs here that uh, that will tell you some things about the filter. So <laughs> I'm gonna give this a shot, but I I probably won't get too far. So we'll we'll, we'll try though. And oh, ah, wither. Yeah. So <laughs> so I got hit by a splash potion of wither, and that uh, that caused my jump to fail. I'll give it one more try, but. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Actually, the only time I've successfully completed the entire course was when I just ran through it without any concern for any of the obstacles. Okay, don't want to be in the way of that splash potion. Oh, oh okay. Oh, no. Uh, I thought I was... <laughs> all right, well, that's uh, that's all I'm going to try. Uh, you can see you can see the entire obstacle course, and you can download it from the link in the description, along with all the, th the three filters. Um, but yeah, if you take a look in the distance, you can see those those lobs, and it's it's really fun to play around with the different trajectories and stuff uh, with this filter. Anyway, so that's that's it for episode one of the Vex MC Edit filter wish list. There will be more to come. Uh, I've already written one of them, the vines you see, but uh, that's for another episode. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.